Okay. I think it's time that we did a ta uncrouched tag barrel storage tutorial. Um, there are some main things that you need to look at for um, uncrouched TBS. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about now. So first thing when you come. So first thing when you come out, you see. Uh, the first variable here is the tag barrel storage bobbing up and down. Um, so when it's at the peak, right so when it's at the peak right there, like right around there, um, that's when you want to start running back. This is the method I've found easiest to do, and you use the closest camera. Um, so by already fixing these variables that make uncrouch TBS pretty difficult, you can make it slightly less difficult. It's going to be difficult to do a skid jump, it's going to be difficult to do an uncrouch on the correct frame, but those two things are going to be muscle memory. So you just don't want to be, you want to have a setup for it. So what I'm offering you is a fairly consistent setup that I've been using. Um, so once it gets to its peak, you want to run back up until about there. Around here is when you want to do your skid jump and immediately hold Z. So, I can get it. So like that. Now once you see DK start to drop, that's when you want to let go of Z. And if you ever get a bad camera like that, like you saw my camera starting to pan away, all you have to do is press R once. When you drop out of the tag barrel, DK should already be facing in the direction properly. Unless you did a weird tag barrel storage. Like, you went in a weird angle. So see there, I kind of adjusted my angle a little bit to get tag barrel storage. So let's do this again. Notice where I'm starting off from. This is like my home position it is like the edge of this shadow you see that the tag barrel is making. And that's usually where the tag barrel drops you out anyways. So right there, the mistake that I made is that I skid too early. That might have looked like I like skid at the right point, but I skid a little bit too early. You want to skid when you're on the actual ground, and not when you're on the slope of the um, um what do you call it, the banana port pad. And then, as you know, you can use C down to check that you got tag barrel storage. So, notice that, like, every single time I see it go to the peak is when I start running, and I will start doing, I will start my skid jump once I get off of warp 3. I'm oriented right in between 5 and 1. So there's, some leeway so there's some leeway here, but generally this is where you want to be. See? So even like, so even like this, is around the spot this is around the spot that you want to be when you do the skid jump. When you do the skid jump. So it's going really so to come really fast though on N64 because there is a little bit of lag. And you shouldn't feel bad that if mid skid jump you the screen starts to drop some frames. That happens to me all the time. As long as you use the same muscle memory for your uncrouch, then you should be fine. So uh, let's talk about when I start to press Z. It's not an immediate thing. 
Because you want to get up off the air so that you are about level with the tag barrel. Once you're level with the tag barrel, you should hold Z because that's when you're going to start dropping. Um, at this point, you just want to avoid missing the tag barrel because you're already... Um, momentum's already carrying you in the correct direction. Morning, Zaf. Teach you? Okay, I'll teach you. So, what I was saying before is, um, is, um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you know when the peak of the tag barrel is. So, right there. So, now that you know where the peak of the tag barrel is, you want the positioning for DK. Um, pretty much any, pretty much right in between warps 5 and 1 is where you want to position DK. If you press R once, um, it'll lock your camera so that you don't really have to worry about, like, going in too many different directions. So, what I'm about to do is once it gets to the peak, I'm going to run back, I'm going to run back, and... Right after I touch the ground after warp three, not while I'm on warp three. Once I touch the ground after warp three, I'm going to begin my skid. And then once, once the smoke from the skid is level with the tag barrel, is approximately level with the tag barrel, is when I'm going to hold Z and then let go. So see, I went a little bit too far there, and that was too early. And that was too early. So these are like decent, so these are like decent right attempts, there, though. See, right there, if you have a bad camera angle, all you have to do is hold R for a second to adjust your angle. So now I'm holding R, and everywhere I go, the camera follows. So I'm holding R. So even right here would be fine. So, by doing, this at, by doing this at the peak, you guarantee that when you jump into the tag barrel after your skid, it's going to be at the peak when you immediately fall out. So you can immediately start running back to warp 3 to do your skid. So I'll demonstrate that. Like that. So I, purposely missed the so I purposely missed the first one and then got the second one. For the first one, I, For the first one, I uncrouched um, too late, purposely. The best thing about this method is that once you see DK in a full crouch, the second you see him in a full crouch is when you let go of Z. There is no leeway there. That's when it happens. So if you notice, so if you notice, DK was level with the tag barrel when I started to crouch. And I was holding Z, and then I let go. The one thing you should, the one thing you should not be doing with this method that I'm teaching you is you should not just press Z. You should not attempt to, like, crouch on crouch by just pressing Z once. You need to hold Z. See, that was pretty that was pretty ideal because I fell a little bit under the tag barrel so that when I uncrouched um DK's head goes up a little bit so it catches that so it catches that second frame once his head is going up. It kind of gives you it actually gives you like a better window to get that second frame in my opinion cuz if you think about the tag barrel going down um, DK is going towards the tag barrel. If he has a significant amount of momentum, then that means that the second frame is going to be easier to achieve.
So let me try to show, so you, let me try to show you a tag barrel storage from farther away. See, so there is, so See, that, so there is than, that was farther than the one that I did before. So let me show you the, distance. so let me show you the distances. So, so the ideal, the spot, to ideal spot to do the tag barrel storage is right this here. Is where you're skidding. This is where you're skidding from when you're running. It's the interface, it's between, the interface the between the warp and the ground. Now, I pushed, now, it, to I pushed right it to the boundary of right about here. I think that's pretty far away, if you're but off, if you're starting off, if you're just starting off with, you're you're starting off with uncrouched TBS, you might want to try to do it from a little bit farther out, like where you're actually touching the ground before you start your skid. Um, so if you start out here, you're going to obviously be airborne for longer, but you'll have more time to react um, since you would be new to TBS at this point, to an uncrouched TBS. So I'll demonstrate that. So, so there, I, there I I let go of Z. I let go of Z too early. I'm used to I'm used to the um, closer version, closer version of, of TBS personally. But if, I had kept but if I had kept holding Z and let go a little bit later, it would have been fine. So you can, so you can use, the first, use zoomed the first zoomed out camera or the third zoomed out camera. There is absolutely no difference. I find it personally easier on the closed camera. Um, I know that Cigna uses either the second zoomed out camera or the third. It's mostly just a matter of comfort and where you can kind of uh, work with the frame. Like you're always going to miss. See, like, like see, time. like I miss all the time. It's fine. But like, you eventually but like you eventually get it. And with this method, like, and with this method, like you don't have any like. You don't have to do. You don't have to do anything but back and up. So on my controller, so on my controller I, am literally going, I am literally going like running back. Like running back. And then it's going to. And go then it's going up. to go straight and up. A and the A press follows immediately after, immediately after because the up because there's a little bit of lag associated with the controller, with the controller between, you trying, between you trying to push the joystick, push up, the joystick up and you pressing A. You can press, a, you can press a, faster a faster than you can push that so joystick up. So you need to account for that. Alright, but that is how you essentially do tag barrel storage um, using the uncrouched um, method.